Okay, so the story so far is this. Um, at Brookstock Festival a couple of weeks ago, uh, Jethro, a Lone Star Sheeran, um, he asked me to come and play at London Fashion Week, uh, a House of Icons event right in the middle of Kensington. And of course I said, yeah. And um, we got to the venue and suddenly I find myself in the middle of this um, uh, a talk. Uh, one of the people that was running it, she says, right, everybody needs to stand by and, and listen to what's, you know, listen to, to how we're going to run the day. And um, I suddenly look around and realize I'm about a foot shorter than everybody. I'm about double everybody's weight. And I'm thinking to myself, how the hell have I managed to get myself into this sort of situation? He's totally stealing my moves. That's how I dance in Swansea. Okay, check this out. We are sat at the side of the runway at the House of Icons event. Yeah, looks like um, there might be a slight change of plans, but I'm always ready to roll with it. Never seen so many good looking people in my whole life. I'm pretty sure they think I'm some sort of special effect. I don't think I've never seen a 16 stone Welshman. And Jethro was excited about the gig, but he just got in touch with his manager and he told her that he wasn't going to be able to make it to this one. And yeah, I was sat at the side of the runway just watching these young, beautiful people going up and down. And I'm thinking to myself, right, I need to try and learn something from these guys. They're sort of, you know, they're, they're, they're on point. They, they hit, they're hitting their marks. They, they look like they belong. You know, they own that space. And I, I just found out that basically I'm going to be doing this on my own. And I'm thinking, how the hell did you get yourself into this, Matt? But, um, you know, the show must go on. So I just had to sort of look, learn as much as I could and, uh, you know, just give it a go. And so we did the sound test, and of course, that's the nice bit. You know, there's nobody about, so the nerves don't get to you so much. And, uh, you know, it's sounding good. I was happy with the sound, and we got that big screen going, so I was feeling pretty good. sound test is done uh, this is the hotel let me just show you what's going on it's pretty posh here check out that car over there right that is a serious set of wheels <laughs> but I mean even still I'm the sort of guy that goes back to the van to get changed <laughs> Some habits die hard. Look at the cars here. Like in a row. You've probably got like 300 grand's worth of cars. It's absolutely crazy. And you've got <laughs> my little van. <laughs> but this is my favorite space, you know. This is where I got my gear. I got a banana in the front so I can have that. And I think I got the rest of a cold coffee in there. So I might have that. Yeah, I think I think I belong in a white van. This is where I'm happiest. And so I'm stood there just getting footage of this crazy, crazy, beautiful vehicle. And my manager, Ronnie, she just approaches life differently. She just says to the guy, hey, can Matt have a sit in your car? And he was really cool about it. He was like, yeah, go ahead. Go. Dude. Hello, sir. We'll go. Dude. We'll go. Check this out. And we later found out that the guy that owned the car was the actual Prince of Qatar. No joke. Uh, he was such a cool, genuine guy. Awesome car, my friend. It's amazing. This is awesome. Is it? It's not mine, man. Oh, <laughs> it's not mine. It's not mine. I wish it was. Dude. I'm getting out. I'm getting out before I break. Check this out. Yeah, ladies and gents, I have just found out that um, there's going to be a slight change of plans. Uh, Jethro 
has been involved in an accident out in Morocco. Um, he's okay, um, he's in hospital, um, he's, he's okay, um, but it means that he can't make the gig today, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and um, I think the plan is just play some guitar over the track. We've got a tr we've got the video, um, so it's pretty pretty similar to what we were gonna plan, but, he, but to what we were planning, but he's just not gonna be there, but still gonna hold up the side and just, uh, just big up some big love to Jethro. Man, I hope you're okay. I'm gonna nail this to the wall for you, buddy. And yeah, Jethro's okay now, but I didn't know that then. And he wouldn't miss for this for the world. But if you think about my situation now, I, I kind of got to, um, I kind of got to go on by myself. And I'm thinking, um, Matt, you need to make it look like you do this kind of gig every day. You know, you need to look professional. You mustn't look nervous. You absolutely have to, you have to go on. You have to grab this and you have to nail it to the wall for Jethro because he gave me this opportunity, so I need to smash this for him. And yeah, so I'm sat there watching this and I can see like basically the assembled press of the world uh, at the end of the catwalk and that does not help your nerves. My name is Frank Mavata and I will be your host this weekend as House of Icons celebrates four years of weedy magic across nine cities around the world. What about a round of applause? All right, now we have multiple special treats for you guys this weekend. And yeah, I might not know anything about fashion, but that doesn't mean that I don't want to learn. And I was sat there watching these outfits coming out, and I was thinking, you know, I, I can kind of see, I can see the amount of hard work and effort and artistry that's gone into this, you know, it was starting to make sense. And yeah, it was a wonderful car, but I still prefer my Renault Kangoo because, you know, you wouldn't be able to take a car like that through a McDonald's drive through Okay, the plan has changed just a little bit. Um, we're still going through with it, though. Um, instead of actually being there, we're going to use a, a recording of Jethro. I'm practicing over that now, making sure i got some riffs. Uh, Jethro, if you're seeing this, man, I'm going to nail this for you, brother. Hope you get well soon. Hey, dudes, we are backstage, and it is all kicking off. We are set up, plugged in, wired up, and ready to go. Just don't trip up the stairs. And this here is Savita K. She is the CEO of the House of Icons. She ran the whole event and she did it with her arm in a sling. So massive props to her for that. And yeah, the guy that's going on before me is a guy called David Jordan. Now he played the actual Michael Jackson in Thriller on London's West End for six years. Um, he's about as professional as they get and he smashed it. And I'm up next, so you know, no pressure. waiting for the call, I'm waiting for Savita to introduce me and I've got the guitar and a, a plectrum in my hand and you know I'm starting to sweat a little bit you know because it's clearly the biggest highest profile gig I've ever done and Jethro's not with me and I've got to try and nail it for him too and um, I've basically got a wireless guitar kit so I know that I, I need to go out all the way to the end of the catwalk and really own the space because if I stand too far back, I'm going to look like I don't belong there. And um, I've got all of these things going through my head, you know, and the, the, the pressure is starting to mount. And yes, yeah, Savita says my name and up we go. And next up is the amazing Matt Cook. Hey, what
can't be here tonight and no he sends his condolences. I want to nail this one to the wall for you, Jeff. Wherever you are, man, I hope you get well soon, brother. But I've always tried to keep a little faith inside of me. A little light inside of my heart. A little hope to understand. But it feels like a lying down. We're lost in the end. Yes, it's been a pleasure. My name is Matt Cook, Star People Management, Marlon Peters in Management. Jeff, for that one's for you, God bless. Good night, thank you. Thank you for having me. Cheers, thank you. So yeah, we kind of did it. Um, we managed to kind of do the track with Jethro because even though he wasn't there, we did the track that we wanted to do. And then I did my song, Letting Go, and played that and that seemed to go well. And, you know, the crowd were really kind. And um, I know I said that Jethro sends his condolences and I know that doesn't make any sense. Uh, people have pointed that out to me and I think, well, if that's the worst thing that I said, then it's not so bad because my head was absolutely spinning. And as I'm coming back through, I, I, I come off stage and I go back to the backstage area and I look around and I can't get out because there's about, I don't know, 200 models all waiting to go on. So I, I just stood there and waited till the end of the whole show. Ladies and gents, that was crazy. I think it went pretty well. <laughs> Check it out. You can't buy this stuff in Tesco, dude. After that we earned ourselves a couple of much needed pints I needed to wind down after that so we're sat in the hotel bar afterwards having a drink and my manager Ronnie she says hey Matt why don't you go get your acoustic guitar and I said I, I don't think they I don't think they will want to hear this in here it, it's basically like the poshest hotel you've ever been in the middle of Kensington um, and it's I, I'm thinking to myself there's businessmen in here there's uh, you know there's there's a high high flying people and she goes, no, get, get your guitar, it'll be cool. And because she's my manager and I trust her implicitly, I went, well, okay, then let's just see what happens. And, and this is how it went down. Everyone. Check them out. That's Mary Louise, Paige, Edric, and Ronnie. You guys are the best backing vocals in the business. I think the lesson of the day for me was that even though you basically sat in, you know, the poshest hotel in, in, in the most expensive part of London and you've just been to like the, the craziest gig of your life, you know, people still like a sing song, you know, people are just the same all the world over, you know, you start playing Wonderwall, I mean, it, it's a cold heart that doesn't sing along to that song, it is great. <laughs> And this is my man, Edric Kennedy McFoy. I'm showing him a few chords there and he's taken to it like a natural. He was a firefighter that attended Granville. Um, he's written a book about it called Into the Fire, so check that out, I recommend it. Uh, if you see him in the street, make sure you get a handshake off this guy. His handshake hits you like 10 cups of coffee. He is a very, very special guy. It's going now, right? It's going now. I don't want to close your hand, then you're going to see us. 
And yeah, that was the gig last weekend. Not bad. It's already led to a bunch of different opportunities that I can't say too much about now, but you guys will be the first to know about it as soon as I can tell you. Uh, I just want to say massive thanks to Mary Louise of Star People Management, uh, Jethro Sheeran for giving me the opportunity, uh, Edric Kennedy McFoy, uh, check out his book, Into the Fire, uh, Ronnie Swift Laurie of Marland Music Management, you are the best manager it's possible for anyone to have. Massive love to you, Ronnie. Um, David Jordan, uh, shout out to Lee and Brown, the upcoming model, uh, and my new friend Amrick Channa. We've got to do something together soon. Uh, massive thanks to Savita Kay at the House of Icons for organizing the whole thing. Uh, ladies and gents, thank you so much for watching the video. This is Matt Cook, that guy we saw last night.com, signing out. I'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you.